Iran's newest hypersonic glide missile is reportedly capable of speeds up to Mach 15. Now, I'm not very good at math, but Mach 15 is really stinking fast. It also says that it's hypersonic glide vehicle that is after it finishes and goes into its terminal phase, the vehicle can evade defenses. And if that's the case, it could easily bypass the missile defense systems like the Iron Dome and the Arrow. Now, up until last October, this missile was unproven in combat, so a lot of its capabilities were just theoretical. And it was known to suffer from some targeting and guidance issues in the beginning. But it is believed that they have fewer than 10 of these that are operational. Those are intelligence estimates. So they better make them count. And this goes back to what I was saying before. It doesn't matter how many of Iran's missiles can make it through the Iron Dome air defense. They cannot, in their current strategy that they're using, which is just randomly targeting civilian areas, they cannot make a difference in the, the outcome of this war. Now, if they were aiming those things at military targets and getting through, they might be able to have an effect. If they were aiming them at very important critical infrastructure, that might have a bigger effect on the economy. But let's say they've only got 10 of these things. Why are they aiming them at civilian areas? It looks like they aimed one of them at the U.S. Embassy. If you recall this one, it just looks like a bolt of lightning. Those other things that are falling out of the sky are Israeli Iron Dome missiles that are trying to shoot that thing down, but they just can't catch it. It's just too fast. So with that in mind, Iran had better make them count if they're actually going to use it. And if it's true that they used a Fatah one last night, the only thing that was struck was a car park. And as I said, they're down to about 15 missiles in the last barrage. 15 missiles at a time is much easier for Israel to shoot down. And every barrage so far has been smaller than the one before. Part of that is because Israel keeps blowing up the launchers. And remember, it doesn't matter how many missiles they have. It only matters how many launchers they have. Now, the Fatah one uses solid rocket fuel and not liquid rocket fuel. And that's important because it doesn't take time to fuel it up before they launch it. It's already ready to go. They roll it out, they lift it up, and they launch it. It's one and done. 